Welcome to day one of the 2021 Sea Otter Classic. We've been gone for a couple years, but it feels great to be back amongst the people. We're stoked to check out what's going on at the show this year. Stay tuned, we're gonna be giving you guys some sneak peeks and some first looks at some really cool stuff coming out and catching up with old friends that we haven't seen for a while. So let's enjoy the show. Welcome everybody, our first stop at the Sea Otter Classic. We didn't make it too far and bumped into our friends from TRP. We've been seeing some little pit bit shots of some new stuff that they're working on. So behind this curtain, we're gonna go meet with Colin Escabel and learn what's going on. What's going on, Colin? Sean, how you guys doing? Good. First day of Sea Otter. Sea Otter, we're back. It's nice to be back from Europe and stuff like that, so. So we've been seeing some sneak peeks going on here. Um, tell us a little bit about what you can on what you guys are always working on improving. Well, you know, we got our drivetrain that's been pretty successful, um, but we're always working on the next thing, right? As soon as we finish, you know, that goes to production, we got to start the next one, and we're getting close, and people are liking it, you know. We learned how to make a derailleur the first time, and now we're getting better at it. Um, stuff people ask for, like lighter action, um, better indexing, and we got a lot of irons in the fire, so. You should uh, see some cool stuff from us uh, next year. I know. We wish we wish you could see a little bit more of what's going on on this bike, and we got to keep it somewhat yeah, we're looking down at mystical it. here. So, it pretty, you know. like I said, you know, the first derailleur was great. We were really happy with what we did, um, but we wanted it better. And you know, the expected level of performance from what the uh, other two S's are doing—that's um, you know, the expected level. That's what we want people to, to feel. Right on. Well, uh, like I said, we can't show it to you, but it does feel good, and we're excited to get some on a bike here, hopefully in the near future. Yeah, we'll get you one. All right. You know where to go. Thanks, guys. Have a good show. Good to see you. All right, so we were in between meetings, cruising around the venue, and saw this really cool booth from a company called SCORE. Now, they're located right across from BMC, and that is because SCORE is actually affiliated with BMC. A lot of the engineers, the development, in fact, uh, all the manufacturing and development process is under the BMC umbrella, which is really cool because you know that you're getting a bike from a brand you maybe haven't heard of, but it's from a reputable manufacturer. Now, they're going to be offering a frame set and complete bikes. They've got 140 or 160 millimeter options that utilize the same frame. You just change out the linkage and the rear shock. Uh, they're going to have builds available from, I believe, 4,500 up to 6,600. They're also going to have, you guessed it, e-bikes available. Same availability here with a 140 build or a 160 millimeter travel bike. And price ranges, I think, on that, he said were 6,600 up to about $8,000. So um, stay tuned. This is a brand new company that just launched. These bikes look awesome. We are very excited to be getting some of these in the future. And if you know much about us, we love purple and we love e-bikes. And they got a purple e-bike right out there. We hope to be getting one very soon. So check out SCORE for more information on their bikes. And uh, hopefully we'll be reviewing one of these in the very near future. All right, folks, so we didn't make it too much farther, and we stopped over here at Yakima Racks, and there's some really cool new stuff going. You sh showed us a couple things already, but um, what's your name, and what are we about to look at? Yeah, so I'm Taylor. I'm the product marketing manager here at Yakima, and we're launching two new bike racks on 1115, so coming up real quick here, so we just kind of wanted to give everybody a nice little, little taste of what's to come. Uh, the two racks, well, there's two racks here, but uh, this is the Stage 2 family. Uh, just a premium aesthetic tray rack. We've got our accessory safety mate, which is a full turn and uh, lighting uh, kit, uh, and as well as a license plate holder. So just kind of keeping you legal in those areas where uh, where cops aren't really digging uh, bikes covering up license plates. Uh, but then also just safety, um, just having a really clean looking lighting kit. So if you're driving at night with bikes off the back, uh, it's just really, yeah. You know, it just it, it's a uh, you know good visibility for the for the rack there. Uh, another thing of note as well is we've got a collapsible uh, rear tray. So as far as for loading, um, the stage two is fat bike. Com or, I'm sorry, e bike compatible. So we've got 60 pound weight rating on that. That's RV rated as well. And then we have a D rated off road rating for 42 pounds per bike. And the, uh, the tray, just as far as a, uh, making loading a little bit easier, especially for heavier bikes, it's got a little prongs here that'll 
and just click into the back of the wheel tray there. And then the nice thing is it is actually collapsible. So these knobs right here, I can actually make this double the length. And then when you're storing it, you would actually just put it into this length right here. So really easy to throw in the back of your car uh, for that. But that's the stage two and that'll be out 11.15. All right, so here's some exciting news out of Germany. We are with our good friend, Victor, who is now the main man for Propane USA. Uh, sounds like the website's maybe going live. People are gonna be starting to see these here in America, right? Tell us a little bit about the move, Propane coming to the US and what we can look for. Yeah, yeah, so we should be going live real soon with uh, bikes in the next week now. And uh, yeah, Propane is a German brand. They've been around for about 12 years. and. They're making the, the move across the, the pond over here to the U.S. And yeah, we're based in Vancouver, Washington, and sh bikes will be shipping out of there. We'll be fully assembled uh, in the U.S. We'll have some pre-configured builds at first, and then hopefully middle of next year, we'll have our configurator online just like we do in Germany. So you'll be able to pick out all of your parts on your bike and, and build your dream bike. Our, our whole motto is uh, we build the best bikes for our friends and our, ourselves, so. Okay, well, speaking of, We've been following your Instagram and we see you got yourself some new bikes to ride. What is your favorite new propane bike that you ride yourself? Surprisingly, it's been the Spindrift. Uh, I was really, I was blown away for a 180 mil travel bike. It, it rides incredibly well. I've, I've done some really big rides on it and it's a heck of a lot of fun going down the hill and it's pretty damn good going up the hill. The other one is the, uh, the Eugene, which is our trail bike, you know, 140 mil travel. And that one's been fun for just kind of every day around us where, you know, Cold Creek and stuff, the, the trails around uh, around our headquarters uh, in the U.S. But the Spindrift's been amazing. I, I've ridden it at bike parks. I've ridden it in Oak Ridge, Oregon. And yeah, it's, it's quite amazing. Awesome. Cool. Well, uh, we're going to check out the rest of the bikes and can't wait to get some to test out. They look like rad machines. Yeah, I can't wait for people to, to get on them. They're, they're going to be blown away. Well, day one is almost a wrap. We left the venue, came down here to Cannery Row where Pac is having a little bit of a sneak peek media event tonight. Unfortunately, we can't bring you guys inside, but stay tuned for lots of cool new stuff that we're gonna be showing off on the site here in the coming months as POC releases their new 2022 line. Thanks for coming along for us on day one. Make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow where we check out more at the Sea Otter Classic.